Hey, what is up guys? So I have a very special video for you today. Um, I can't even believe what I have in front of me here. And no, it is not a sleeping bag and just some boxes. There's much more to it. You probably all saw the title of this video and are wondering if it's actually what it says. And let me tell you, it definitely is. That's right guys, what I have in front of me are two very powerful jet engines as well as a paraglider. So this is probably the biggest project I've ever done on this channel. I wanna see if it's possible for an 18 year old with no flight experience whatsoever, no professional engineering experience at all, to build a working aircraft that's portable enough to be worn on your back. This has been a project dream of mine for so long to be able to make something that allowed me to fly. That's just such a cool thing. So currently I have two of these jet engines. Each one puts out around um, close to 20 pounds of thrust. So they're definitely no joke. Um, shout out to Hobby King for sending me these engines. I'll be talking about them more in upcoming videos. And I also managed to get my hands on a paraglider. Yeah, that's right guys, I have a paraglider guy. So yeah, let's go take this paraglider, unwrap it just so you can see what it looks like. So as you guys can see, this thing's pretty big. But what's cool about it is it's made of very thin material, um, so it can fit in like a backpack, and uh, yeah, it can be pretty easy to carry. So if you don't know how paragliding works, basically you have one clip right here that clips into one side of your harness, and then another one over here that clips into the other side, and then to launch, you kind of just like pull up on them really fast, run forward a little bit, and then the wind fills up this giant chute right here. And yeah, if you're paragliding without any power, then you would normally launch off of a high altitude spot, like a cliff or a hill or something, or sometimes people jump out of planes. And then there's another type of paragliding where you actually use a motor, and that's called a paramotor. And uh, basically, it's where you strap a giant fan onto your back, and yeah, you can actually fly like that. And uh, I think that's really cool, but the problem with that is the fans are really big, and um, it's not very convenient to move around. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do is use those jet engines to fly with this thing. I wanna make it on a backpack that's like super easy to deploy, so we can deploy it really fast, fire up the jet engines, and um, fly away. Now remember, I have no experience with this whatsoever, um, so I'm definitely gonna have to do my research. I don't even know if the jet engines I have are gonna provide enough thrust, um, but there's only one way to find out. And the thought of having a personal aircraft that uses jet engines that you've made is just so cool, and I really just wanna try and make it. So what do you think, guys? Do you think it's possible for me to fly with these engines? Um, cause I really hope so. Obviously there's still a lot of stuff I need to do. Um, I'm still waiting on the batteries for these things. These take literally the biggest LiPo batteries you can buy. Um, I think about 44 volts or something per each one. Um, so yeah, pretty intense stuff. But yeah, that's just the price of the dream. To have a jet powered aircraft you can wear on your back. Also in the meantime, while I'm figuring out how to build this, I'm gonna be trying a lot of other cool stuff with these engines. Um, like, I think I wanna try mounting them to like a longboard for sure. Um, if you have any other ideas of what I could stick these onto, that'd be cool. Um, let me know in the comments below. So um, yeah, I hope you guys are as excited for this project as I am. It's definitely one of the biggest projects I've ever done and um, I'm really excited and really hopeful for it. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for today, guys. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Um, subscribe to see all the other videos on this project and all the progress that's gonna come, as well as a bunch of other cool videos. So that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.